In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create Gemini powered functions from within Sheets. And this is not Sheets with Gemini. This is you creating your own functions with your own prompts that you can then use in Gemini or give to your end users. And I'm just doing an Ask Gemini and a Translate function in here, but I'll show you how to create them. First thing you want to do is set up a Google Cloud account. There's $300 of free credits in there for sign up. So just sign up for that. Then take a note of your project ID and go down into Vertex AI. And once you go into Vertex AI, this will ask you if you want to enable the API, just say yes. And then you have access to any model you want to pull. So I'm going to model garden here, and this is Gemini one pro. I go down into an API reference to get the URL. So this is the URL that I want to use in my code here in AppScript. And you can see that URL in there. The only reason I want to show you this is that if you need to change the model you want to use at any time, you just go to AppScript and get that URL out. To get started, we go back to our Google Sheet, go to Extensions and select AppScript. And AppScript just allows you to extend Sheets with JavaScript functions. So in AppScript, I'm going down into project settings and I just want to show the AppScript.json. Then I go back up to the editor, pick the AppScript.json and just put it in another uh, variable into the dictionary. And this is my auth scopes. And these three auth scopes just allow me to authenticate my Google Cloud platform. Save the project and now onto my code, which is my code.js. And you can just copy and paste this in straight from my GitHub. The link for that is down below, but this is just two functions in here and a variable. So the first variable is your project. So you just want to copy and paste your project ID in there so it knows what to charge. Then you've got an authentication function and the Ask Gemini function, which looks way scarier than it is. All this is doing is it's taking in an input. It's asking Gemini to return an output. And there's a couple of variables in there in generation config. So you see input text in here. And then that's going down into parts and then we're getting an output in there. So I'm going to save this and this can now be used within my Google Sheet. So go back to my Google Sheet. The first thing I have to do is authenticate myself. So to do this, I'm going to draw a button. There's other ways to do this and I'll show them in later videos, but this is probably the easiest way to get started. So I'm going to draw a button here. I'm just going to call this button auth and then I'm going to save this. And what you can do with drawings and shapes is that you can assign functions to them. So I'm going to just click the three dots and assign a function to it. And I'm going to assign auth. So all you do is click the three dots, sign a script. I'm just going to put the function name in here and I'm good to go. I can then click this and authenticate and I can ask Gemini. So first thing I'm going to do is just a really test function to say what is the average temp in Ireland by month, wrap that in the ask Gemini function, and I see that it works. Now I want to implement it with a question that's in the spreadsheet already. So just ask Gemini B8. And then I can drag this one down and I can drag it down for multiple outputs. So I want to create a custom function now because all I've shown is that we can use Gemini within Sheets. But the real power of this is when you can create your own functions. So all we need to do is we need to alter the text that goes to the model by creating a more comprehensive prompt that the user never has to see. So I'm going to call a variable prompt in here. And then I'm going to send this prompt to Gemini. So instead of input text going to Gemini, it's going to be this variable prompt. And I'm going to add a phrase to the input text. So the task is I'm going to want Gemini to translate it into Spanish and then add a input text. So the user doesn't have to see what prompt I put in before, only needs to allocate a cell to that. And now it's translated that into Spanish. And as well, I can drag that down. And you can begin to see how this could open up a library of LLM powered functions that you can give to your end users. I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe for more Google Analytics videos.